Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I am give you guys a little tip called the boolean modifier which is a really handy modifier in Blender which allows you to cut out pieces of a mesh um, based on another object. So in other words, say I had a sphere and I wanted this sphere to be conjoined with this cube. This sphere and this cube to be one, say like this, it would be really difficult to go in and manually combine these, but the um, Boolean modifier will easily combine them for us and will give us some okay topology. Also, this modifier can be used to cut out um, an object based on another object. So like I could use this modifier and have a little hole like this, a 3D hole on this cube based on the sphere's mesh. So let me just demonstrate that to you guys again. So select your cube and go to your modifiers tab and click add modifier boolean. Okay. So basically there are three options for this. There's intersect, union, and difference. Intersect is kind of strange because if you uh, set the object to sphere, basically what it does is it only keeps the mesh um, based on the relation, like the world location of your sphere. So if I were to apply this right now, you'll see that my cube has turned into pretty much what the sphere was. So that's cool. You can kind of, you can use that to get some pretty cool results, but that's not the main reason I am making this tutorial because I wanted to show you guys these two, union and difference. So union, as you could probably guess, if you move your sphere close to it, so that it's intersecting the mesh and you click apply and you move your sphere out of the way you can see that we have now a second sphere it duplicated that sphere and if you tab into edit mode you can see that it combined the mesh and that's pretty cool you could maybe go in and if you want you can uh, edit that mesh um, to make it a little cleaner or you can or you uh, if you don't want to you don't have to because you know, if this is a hard surface object, uh, topology wouldn't really matter. And that's pretty much what you'd be using this modifier for anyways. So that's that. I think that's pretty cool. But why don't we uh, go ahead and do one more example, the difference modifier. If I were to move this sphere directly on top of this, like so maybe, and click apply, and I move this sphere out of the way, you'd see that it just cut a hole inside of my mesh and that's pretty cool and it does it based on the uh, spheres vertices and you can see that if you uh, type in edit mode it's uh yeah again pretty bad topology but uh, that's uh, a pretty cool thing that it can do so let me just demonstrate this with a uh, second object let me just undo so we're going to use text on this and we're going to inlay text onto this object. So if we do shift A, um, shift A, add text and we bring the text up and we uh, go to the font right here and we extrude it a little bit and then press alt C to convert it to uh, a mesh because I'm not sure if this works with a, um, with a text object. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Uh, and then go back to the cubes. Uh, modifier properties, make the difference object to text and move the text down. And basically what this is going to do, if we apply this, is it's going to cut out a little area of your cube to uh, say text. And that's really cool. And you can maybe add a bevel modifier uh, that totally destroys everything because you can't do that. Um, but yeah, you can uh, basically inlay, inlay text onto this and you can do that for you know engraving uh, text onto a gun or onto a uh, anything basically and uh, yeah it's really simple to use too so um, yeah I hope this tutorial this quick little tip came in handy and I hope you can um, find some use of it sometime thank you for watching